from the frozen peaks of the Cascades to the frosty fridge of a research lab. A strange snow is gathering. And everyone was confused about what it was. Like, what is this? Is this contamination? Like, is the, what is this? Is this a toxic thing? Western Washington University's Dr. Robin Codner was the first to study the phenomenon called watermelon snow, an algae that turns snow pink at seemingly random times and places. So we have a lot of really basic questions like where and when can you find this? We don't even know if it comes back to the same place from year to year. Watermelon snow is a relatively regular occurrence and has been spotted from Washington to Peru. But while it is pretty to look at, Dr. Codner worries that algae may actually make snow melt faster, creating a perfect watermelon snow storm for the world's melting glaciers. The more glaciers melt, the better the habitat. The more the algae grow, the more the snow melts. The quicker the glaciers disappear. The quicker the glaciers disappear, right. Connor doesn't think the algae is a huge risk right now, but says the situation merits much more study. And then there's two sample tubes. To that end, she's giving out kits for citizen scientists to collect samples to be analyzed. As for those collecting the samples, researcher Rachel Mallon says be prepared for a few surprises. It actually really does smell like watermelon. How's it taste? I've never actually tried to eat it because we've heard that people um, get sick from uh, the, uh, I don't Not really want don't, to try. Don't eat the yellow snow, but don't eat the water. My dad makes that joke all the time. <laughs> Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.